Well, Neil, three wins on the spin. Blackpool's first victory here since 1976. What did you make of the performance this afternoon? Um, a professional away performance. Um, I thought we were, showed a real authority in our game, uh, particularly without the ball, and that were, that gave us a lot of platform to spring some really good um, attacking situations, counter-attacking situations. Um, and we thought, I thought we grow, we grew into the game, um, and one or two little bit moments of quality, um, as one as the game. We, we caused them quite a few problems, particularly on the counter attack. They, they, they left a little bit of space for us to attack into, which we knew that they would, and we've we've capitalised on that. So, um, yeah, to come away and win, you know, a team like this. Um, because they've got good players in their team, uh, you know, uh, so 3-0. Couldn't be happier, but it's three points and we move on to Tuesday. And literally led from the front today, whether it was in defence or attack with your front two, causing problems all afternoon. Yeah, I thought they were a real handful, both of them. Um, it's something we'd highlighted before the game. Um, we thought we could get some success against their two centre-halves, running off them and in behind them. And Ellis done, he did that for the penalty. He ran behind the centre-half and he lost him. It was a lovely little through ball. And he's brought him down, which you know. Yeah. So it's, it's good that they, the players listen and they, they take that into practice, and um, that got us off to a good start. Matty scored a fantastic second goal from midfield, and then you know we got another penalty, um, clumsy challenge from their boy I thought in the box, and Jerry scored again, and we've seen the game out comfortably after that. You mentioned Matty there, you moved him back into the middle, and that's what he's capable of, isn't it? You've seen it so many times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know he can score goals from midfield, whether that's arriving um, in the box without the ball or driving forward with the ball from midfield. And um, or from the angle I was on, I thought he might have just slid. I think it might have been to Jerry, slid the pass to Jerry, but he's decided to take the shot on and it was a terrific strike in, inside the uh, far post. I mean, that sort of situation just became sort of like controlling the game then, didn't it? Yeah, and there's, there's been, look, there's, <laughs> unfortunately for us, there's been some uh, times when we've had. 10 men this season and, and that's where you see the real spirit and togetherness of the team and I've just said that to the players um, at the beginning of the season some some decisions and some moments went against us like they went against Charlton today but what we did is we stuck together we showed real spirit um, a togetherness not just on the pitch but off the pitch as well and that that's really important and we're starting to get the rewards of that um, so one or two moments went against them uh, but maybe we're due a few of them as well. As always, you're having to find solutions and just before the game goes and starts, James Usman pulls up in the warm-up and then Jordan Thorner comes in. Yeah, that, you know, that was obviously unfortunate. Um, Hubby had felt his calf in the warm-up. Um, didn't feel he was right to um, start the game, so don't want to take any risks. And I thought Jordan Thorner came in and stepped in. I thought he was excellent. Um, you know, pretty much foot perfect defensively and on the ball. Um, so he, he's had a he had a real good spell. Uh, just took him out of the gate, out of the team recently, um, but that little break's done him done him good, I think. And uh, I thought he was uh, I thought his performance was excellent. You mentioned not taking risks. Did the control of the game allow you to to bring some players off, looking ahead to games, and give some others some minutes? And possibly, but you you, you know your your thought is always on this game. Um, we can worry about what's ahead after the game. Um, so that, that's always in the back of your mind um, but our, our priority is always play this game deal with the, deal with the situations and the moments in this game win this game and then we can think about um, the games ahead after this so we made some subs um, it was nice to see Nathan Shaw get on the pitch as well um, and I thought all the subs contributed uh, you know we I'd like to have seen us play a little bit more control football uh, when they were down to 10 men and keep the ball a little bit better uh, but the pitch was a little bit difficult at times for both teams. Um, you know, and that's me nitpicking a little bit. Um, you know, I couldn't have been, yeah, couldn't have been more pleased um, as a group. And it's three points, but it's you know we want our run to continue now at home against Crew on Tuesday.